Okay, mate, uh, welcome to the group, first off. Now, ADA, yeah, very bad thing to buy in. Um, unfortunate. Uh, hopefully, you didn't put all your cash in before that. You said you've been trying to trade it back up, so hopefully, you still uh, have some cash to get out of that spot. So, it's up uh, 4% today. Um, now, what I will say, right, when you base like this for 15 candles, or whatever that is, I didn't count them, I'm just saying, when you put a base in like that, you know, sometimes you can get a really explosive move. Like sometimes, I, I know we're already up really, really high, and it's up at $2 almost. Sometimes that can go a lot more when you've based like this, okay? So it's extremely interesting, right, to be honest. Um, this is, is a very nice bounce back from ADA. Like you can see, last the last two week candle, we're on two week candle here. It was a, it was a bearish candle, and we've three days left here, and we're actually finishing pretty strong, which implies you know maybe ADA wants to actually go higher, right? It's, it's, it's so far it's having good strength. Now I don't know where your entry is uh, before the chain of fold. Mm, well, I'm assuming I'll just say here. He said one day before it. I don't know. I think he said one day before it. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking your entry is somewhere there. <laughs> That's unfortunate. The, the problem is when we get back there, there's likely going to be a lot of people kind of in this area and maybe even up here. A lot of people are going to want to sell, right? Because a lot of people bought up here and they're all, if that gets back to break even, it might drive the price back down. Okay, so be prepared for that. Now, if if it can then hold up and maybe consolidate, there, there's there's a chance this could could go back up higher. You know, um, it's interesting because of this base. Like, um, you know, I could show you numerous charts like this uh, in the stock market, um, penny stocks that that have been down to two dollars or, or two dollars. Sorry. Uh, 10 cent and went to two dollars, and sometimes they go to five and six dollars, right? Sometimes they just keep going. Uh, so, like you're 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 telling me you're asking me, like I don't know if you're still in your initial investment. I'm not sure what 138 is because I uh, I trade the US dollar, but it's going up like a rocket. Um, I I don't really see any need to buy here if you're not in if you've got your original position out. Um, I don't really see a need to buy here. A uh, couple of reasons, and 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 that would be that this is already pushed up really far, right? What you want to be doing is you want to buy at the starts of these candles and and really trade that up. Um, there is three days left, roughly, uh, until a new one of these candles, and that will be very important. You know, at, at this point, ADA is one of the strongest coins in the market because, you know, it. it it's it's here and it's all time high is there. It's 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 gone up pretty close to its all time highs. The drop was uh, was significant, but it was only a wick. We we actually really only came down here, and uh, and, and now we're back up obviously to this point. Um, so it's 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 been relatively strong, and that's a very good sign. If this could base here, it could actually run. The one the one thing I will say about this, you can see the way that it's popped up today. It's actually above all of these. And see, because it's kind of failed to hold above here, you need to be careful of this. This could actually cause a bit of a drop. This could cause a little bit of a dip down. There's a stop hunt up here. Um, it's a failed move to hold above this, this high, this high, and we'll call it this high almost as well. So you just need to be careful on this in case it causes some bearish reaction. The problem is you're asking me, should you buy or wait or hold or whatever? You know, if you want to buy this right now, you kind of almost have to put your stop loss below the, below here. And it's it's quite a long way down um, as far as risk management goes. It, it's it's 6% drop. So it's not very good to, to buy. I, I would best hold hold off on this and give it, maybe we'll see, see again tomorrow and see if there's an entry. And worst case scenario, try and trade it on a new two-week candle.